Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is um, a requested video all about Joanna Basford. Um, many people, of course, are very familiar with the illustrator who started what is now um, a massive hobby and that is the adult colouring community. But for those of us that are newer and aren't as aware of um, these illustrators and their, their book series, I'm going to do a few of these videos. And today is um, oh, highlighting Joanna Basford. Um, I will show the books that I have of hers and discuss the books that I don't have of hers. Um, she has a website www.joannabassford.com I'll link it below in uh, the description if you go to her website you can see all about her you can sign up to a newsletter um, that she sends out and you can um, get access to the free colouring book that she put out on there as a PDF which is a flourish and any bits and pieces of pages that she um, sends out so there, there's that for a start. I have her How to Draw Inky Wonderlands, um, which is a beautiful um, book for those that are wanting to draw and are maybe not too fabulous about it. I'm not going to show this one because obviously it is um, okay, a, a tutorial, a descriptive book. So... Um, you know, I wouldn't want to put something out there that she's spent a lot of time and effort on. And, you know, if you want it, you need to buy it, really. Um, so that is that one. She then has her very well-known um, original books, which are The Magical Jungle, which I don't have. Um, it is on my wish list, of course. Uh, her Lost Ocean book. And then um, there is her secret garden. This also comes in a tiny miniature version, just so you can actually see the different size comparison there. Um, exactly the same, but much smaller. Um, I'm sure most people are, are very familiar that there are different editions of these books and some come in a nice white version and some come in a much darker cream version that some people are not a fan of. You get um, a dust jacket to the book and this is the inside cover. Everything is um, colourable paper, the dust jacket and the cover, nothing is shiny and it's all colourable. So, let me pop you in the middle where you'll be able to see properly. We will do a flip of this. I've had this a little while and I'm ashamed to say I haven't coloured very much from it. It's a beautiful book. Uh, pop you a bit more in the middle so you can see both sides a bit better. They are on lovely thick paper, not your Amazon print paper for Joanna's books. Um, mine is the creamer version, but they're just lovely illustrations that, like I showed in the, the drawing book, um, she does actually teach you how to draw them and I believe in some of her earlier books there are spaces for you to add a little bit of embellishment and create some of your own parts to the pages. Yeah, I thought so. She kind of leaves you to finish some of the pages. A lot of illustrators did this 
early on, but I believe it it was something that was wasn't quite popular with colourists, as I think many of us can't actually draw, so we're not keen. I know I always flip fast, but most people have seen these, and uh, there's quite a few to get through. So she kind of tells you to pop fish into your pond and frogs, grow the garden, fill the page, draw bumblebees, add petals to your page, draw vines and daisy chains and then we go back. And uh, same, she leaves space for you to add. This is the page I'm working on at the moment with my Black Widow pencils. So, sneak peek. <laughs> and then, of course, she has the thumbnails in the back that gives you the key to the hidden items. And then the back with the dust jacket. So that is Secret Garden and of course Miniature Secret Garden is the same but small. We then have, uh, oh, well we thought we did. I do have Enchanted Forest wherever I may have, well there we go, <laughs> that's not very organised of me is it? Uh, Enchanted Forest, there we go another one of her earlier books this actually has um, a miniature version of itself coming out in February 2021 you can get all of Joanna's books very easily from Amazon uh, again this copy of mine is the much creamer quite dark paper that they did I know it bothers some people, but I actually quite like the warmer tone that you get, so it doesn't actually bother me, although some of these pages are very darkly yellow. Again, unfortunately, another work in progress. I haven't done a whole lot in these. They are beautiful pages though, and uh, they're in my to-do pile, as are the many, many pictures <laughs> that I have acquired. This one is particularly pretty. And we then have these couple of special pages near the back. It's quite hard to get this all on, but they actually fold out and it's the same thing, uh, but kind of a left and right. These lovely um, gates and vines and leaves on the back and then the two dragons facing each other. Uh, and you get the same on the back. Again, you have the thumbnails in the back Telling you what's on the pages. And then again the colourable dull cover 
and the colourable dust jacket and that is Enchanted Forest um, they've got these lovely gold leaf etching on the front that's why it shines so much in my lighting um, I then have Ivy and the Inky Butterfly this is a little bit different to the other books I have of hers this is like a storybook and it says a magical tale to colour um, she does do um, artist editions of her books, postcard books, calendars, weekly planners and colourable notebooks as well. All, all these things you can find on Amazon. This book has um, the fold-in cover but it's not actually a dust jacket. I did this, this is the only page I've done so far. I'm tempted to rebuy this book. <laughs> Just because it, it's not the way I'd colour it. Um, but then you think, well, it's a part of of your journey. So, what can you do? I could always change, I might change the pastel. Anyway, we flip through this one. This is a slightly smaller book, more your normal colouring size. All of our others that have um, a square, square book. And like I say, this is a story book. So, this is one of those really nice books you could colour and then actually give to someone, especially a child, as a gift. If you're fast enough <laughs> at colouring all these beautiful pages that you get. These books are pretty nice and thick. She's very generous in the amount of pages you get. And her books are not expensive. Especially when they go on sale. This is my, I say this is my favourite book of hers so far, but then I got World of Flowers, which I'll show you next, and then I also love that. And then I got another book, and now I also love that, so it's quite difficult, but I do particularly like this book. I think the variety of pictures is what makes this a brilliant book. She really does have a little bit of everything, to be honest, to suit most different colourists. So you could work in the one book without getting bored of keep colouring the same thing all the time. This is the best book for that. That is, again with the gold leaf shining in my camera, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. A magical tale to colour. Lovely that one. I then have um, her World of Flowers book. Again, the dust jacket with the nice front cover. A much paler peach pink tone for this one. Try and get as much in frame as I can for you. She 
has tips for colouring, which is nice. And of course, you'll have seen lots of lovely pages coloured by people. She's got lots of little things like this that's quite nice for when you just want to colour a little bit of something instead of spending forever colouring something more like this. <coughs> um, and these beautiful circles. So again, all flowers in this book, but still all very different. And some books as well. These beautiful houses. Just so you've got a nice variety of pictures for when you fancy different things. These wallpaper pages are actually very nice. Another sneak preview there of my completed page. This is done in the Brute Funa oil pencils. They're quite a cheap budget pencil that lay down really lovely in these books. Uh, they do like this paper. Um, very pleased. They are one of the pencils that I like to use, so it's nice to find paper that works well with your pencils. I have used Castle Arts and Black Widows and they work very well in these books as well. Can't quite see that can you? There we go. sugar skull, a little bit different. And then this lovely double page spread. The end, your colour test page. And then right in the back, you've actually got this pull out double page. That's uh, really nice of the garden with the pond. And again, on the other side of that. We have this one. She really does fill every single scrap of your book with something for you. Again, inside cover is colourable. Outside cover is colourable. The inside of the dust jacket, both parts. And the outside of her dust jackets are also there for you to colour. She really does give you everything you need to make that book unique to you. That is World of Flowers. One more that I have. Um, another sneak peek from my haul video. I recently just grabbed, because it is obviously not so far Christmas now, uh, her Joanna's Christmas. Uh, this, I, I've, I've looked at it a couple of times and never really paid it much attention and then I saw someone working in it and it just looked really nice and now I have it and I've looked through it. Can you see these on the black paper? Again this time it's not a dust jacket, it's just the foldable cover. Um, really glad I have it. Absolutely lovely. Try and get you as much in frame as possible. And then we will do this last flip. Again, bit of an introduction and her tips for colouring. This beautiful stag. Um, what she has done, although there are pictures on the back in this pale tone, because they're like a wallpaper, it technically lets you act like these are um, one-sided so you could use 
thicker mediums if you need and if not you have these beautiful wallpaper pages on the back if that's something that you really like to colour. I've seen wonderful versions of these coloured. Very fun book this one. Lots of different elements for Christmas. Got some nutcrackers there for Danny Buttons and all she likes them. <laughs> Gingerbread houses. This is pretty again, seen lovely pages coloured of this. These are always on the back so that they all one sided. This book is uh, perforated edges for you, uh, a little bit different to her others, so that you can actually easily remove the pages if that's something that you like to do. And even her double page spreads, what she's done is not put the picture into the spine for you so that it's not hard to colour and messes with your page, which is nice. It can be quite tricky when they pop their picture into the middle like that. She really does think about people would prefer move this one along because it's a bigger piece again although it looks to be one piece it does not go across the middle of your page so you can colour it all like it's one or you can colour them completely separate and then we have the palette test page and again just the foldable back cover which is colourable as is the back and that is Joanna's Christmas. Um, apart from the miniature Enchanted Forest that she's got coming out, she also has Worlds of Wonder um, due to come out in April next year, so 2021. Um, that you can pre-order on Amazon, as I have done as soon as uh, I got my newsletter to say that that was happening. I um, will be grabbing that one. So uh, I think that one's got more um, scenic pictures to it, which I'm uh, quite interested to see. I hope this was useful um, and it was what uh, the people that requested this kind of video was looking for. Um, I will do um, a series of artists and illustrators that I you know that have a lot of books and that I have a lot of books for so that I can properly show you so if you have any specific illustrators you would like to see please pop it in the comments below and I will sort that out for you if you like the video please do like it so I know whether to make any more of these or not and if you like the channel please subscribe and I will see you in my next video thank you